AMC 10A 2019 problem 19. So we're given this polynomial and we're trying to find the x number such that we get the lowest value of this. Now, it's one thing to factor this thing and try to find the zeros of a fourth degree polynomial, but it's another thing to find the zeros of a polynomial that's of a lower degree. So when always looking at this, we always want to keep on factoring this so that we can get a polynomial that is much less in degree power than a, a polynomial to the fourth degree as present within this question. So we see here that we want to look for patterns always. So we see here that 2 plus 3, the constant, with 1 and 4 is obviously suspicious because 2 plus 3 is 5, 1 plus 4 is also 5. And the sum of the constants give us the coefficient for the linear term in a quadratic. So let's factor it as such and see where this leads us. x plus 2 times x plus 3 gives us x squared plus 5x plus 6 because 2 plus 3 is 5 becomes the coefficient of x and then x plus 1 times x plus 4 where 1 plus 4 is 5 so this becomes x squared plus 5 times x which is 1 plus 4 plus 1 times 4 which is 4. So we factor this to be x squared plus 5x plus 6 times x squared plus 5x plus 4 plus 2019 is equal to some term. And we're trying to find the minimum value and from this term right here we still cannot deduce a minimum value because we can still factor this even down. Because we see here that six and four are a difference of one and or a difference of two, and they're separated by the number five, which is one away from both six and four, which is very suspicious. So let's try to further dumb this down. This can become x squared plus five x plus five plus one times x squared plus five x plus five, and we have to do bigger parentheses, minus one, plus 2019. Now we can treat this term and this term as a. So this becomes a plus 1 times a minus 1 is equal to 2019. And this is obviously, or plus 2019, and this is obviously a squared minus 1. So this becomes x squared plus 5x plus 5 squared minus 1 plus 2019. So this now evaluates to be 2018. And from here, if you stopped here, you could have said that, oh, x squared plus 5x plus 0 will obviously have an x term that results this term to be zero. And then you might be tempted to say answer choice C. But we see here that by continually, by continuously factoring, we get a number that's less than 2019 to be 2018. Now that we factored it into this form, can we factor it even more to be a single term? Well, we can't because not only are we already at a single term, but we cannot expand this question even further. So we have to stop here and call it quits. But now that we call it quits, how do we deduce the lowest value? Well, a quadratic, the term within x squared plus 5x plus 5 is a function of itself raised to the squared power. But don't think of this as a fourth degree polynomial or else we would have done all this for nothing. We did this so that we can simplify our life. And how did this simplify things? Well, quadratics always have x-intercepts depending on its uh this value, the 5. And can x squared plus 5x plus 5 ever reach a term that can cause this to be equal to 0? And we can simply check by checking out the discriminant, which is b squared minus 4ac. This is the same thing as 25b squared minus 4 times 1 times 5, which is 20, which is equal to root 5. And now root 5 is greater than 0, so it'll always have a term that passes through the x access, which is a solution. So we can say here that yes, this thing, this x squared plus 5x plus 5 can indeed cross the x axis and turn this solution to be zero. Because when I'm trying to find the least possible value, the least possible value obviously comes in, in, intuitively to be zero. So this can be evaluated to be some term to be equal to zero. And zero squared will like, like us get us zero. And zero minus 2018 or plus 2018 will give us 2018. So the answer will be choice B, not choice C. And it's very easy to say that B and E are obviously not answers because we're only adding 2019. And by factoring it, there's no way that we could have got a term that could have been potentially even greater than 2019. Well, that could have been a possibility, but if you had to guess, those two answers would be immediately coming to you as solutions that are possibly not valid. But nonetheless, the solution is B.